Hello and welcome to the Audio Recorder 2.0 Deluxe video tutorial. The Audio Recorder 2.0 Deluxe software is designed to help you easily convert your analog audio tapes and LPs to CD or digital formats. This tutorial will focus on both recording modes, the Easy Wizard and Advanced, separately to eliminate any confusion and get you started quickly. We'll begin by opening the program and selecting the Easy Wizard mode. The wizard will guide us through the process including the connections shown here on step 1. When connecting an audio player, such as the stereo, you will want to make sure you connect your composite cables to the ports labeled Line Out. If you do not have any Line Out ports, try Tape Record or Tape Rec. If neither of those options are available, like with this Walkman, you should use the included Headphone to Composite Cable Adapter to connect to the headphone jack on your player. Simply plug it in and connect your composite cables to the adapter. Then take the other ends of your cables and connect them to the Musebox capture device. Next, take the included USB cable and plug it into the Musebox. And take the other end of the cable and plug it into a USB 2.0 port on your computer. Once you have everything connected, go ahead and click the arrow pointing to the right to proceed to step 2. Here, we will need to adjust the volume on our audio player so that the needle sits somewhere in the middle of the black without going into the red. When the needles go into the red, that usually means the segment of your audio will be distorted. If you do not hear any audio with your audio player turned up, you can click the help button for assistance and access the options to adjust the volume for the software and the capture device. When you've set your audio levels, click the next arrow and move to Step 3. Step 3 allows you to turn on the noise reduction feature and adjust it to your liking. This is especially helpful when recording scratchy LPs. You can also adjust the output folder, which is where the program will save your recording to on your computer. Once you're happy, click the right arrow and advance to Step 4. Step 4 instructs us to position our audio player to the point we want to record. Basically at the beginning of whatever you're planning to record, your LP, cassette tape, here you can specify a name for the album you are recording. This will create a folder of the same name in your output folder where all the tracks will be placed. You can also set a recording time by checking the box and entering a time length. This will allow the program to record for the set time and then automatically stop. The auto split option will automatically detect the gaps between each song and Go ahead and split your tracks so you don't have to do that manually. Uh, go ahead and play your audio player and then click the record button when you're ready to start recording. As you can see, the uh, frequency bar, the volume bars, move to your music and the timer begins to start. Uh, we'll just sit back and wait for the recording to finish. If for some reason you do need to stop at any time, you can click the stop button and uh, then click record again to begin recording again. Okay, so once the recording is finished, uh, you can always do more recordings, or uh, if you're ready to burn, you want to burn your recordings to CD, click the burn button down here at the bottom. Okay, so step five shows the burning device, which should display your CD burner. Uh, it also instructs us to insert a blank CD. I'll go ahead and put one in. And lastly, we need to choose our output format, uh, audio CD or MP3 CD. Uh, MP3 CDs will only play in specific players that support that type of disc. So I'm going to go with the more common format and leave it set to audio CD. And uh, click the next arrow to proceed to step six. So here in step six, we have a list of recorded tracks. As you can see, my cassette was auto split into three different tracks. I do have the option of adding more with this plus button. I can select any tracks on my computer to add. I'm going to select this one here. Um, I can also remove any tracks by selecting them and clicking the minus button. But I'm going to go ahead and burn all these tracks to my CD. Here's the status of all of my tracks put together. Uh, I have a 700 megabyte CD in, so they are, will definitely all fit. When I'm ready to burn, I click the burn button and you can see the status of the burn listed here. Uh, 
Once the burn is complete, the program will eject your CD automatically and uh, it'll let you know it's finished. Okay, so it looks like uh, everything's successfully burned. Um, once the burning is complete, you can click the exit button at the bottom here or use the back arrows to uh, go back and repeat the process and record uh, and burn more of your audio. That concludes the easy mode. Uh, we'll move on now to the advanced mode.